<laughs> no, um, so Honey promised he would take me downtown to go shop for some Coachella pieces. Since we're going to Coachella, I feel so cool, but like we're going like what, five years too late? So <laughs> we're, I'm wearing my DIY denim jacket. I have a whole video, which I will link in the cards if you guys wanna see how I made this, but we're headed out. Um, I'm not gonna vlog where I live. Yeah, so I'm making Honey drive us. Um, it's a little bit later than I'd like to be down here because now we're gonna be in traffic. Traffic. And it's gonna get a little crowded. So if you guys go downtown, I always recommend waking up early. early. Um, cause I, I went down here, which you could see probably in one of my previous vlogs where I was getting craft supplies and I was like in and out in like an hour and 15 minutes. And as I was leaving, it was getting really crowded. So today, especially with the fashion stuff, like I feel like people drive in and it gets really crowded. Mm -hmm. My lips are healing nicely, sort of, they still hurt. I still don't know what I'm allergic to. Um, so yeah, we're gonna look at the fashion stuff um, cause I want like fringy boots but I'm never gonna wear it again after Coachella. So we're gonna spend as little money as possible on that. And I kinda want like fringy vests and like kimonos and stuff and I need a hat for Coachella cause this face does not like the sun. <laughs> So we're just gonna show you a little bit of downtown fashion district. D T L A. Um, it's pretty, pretty like gross and grimy. So I am wearing a maxi dress and my denim jacket, uh, cause it's kind of chilly. But I'm wearing sneakers, so I am hot right now. <laughs> totally does not match. Look at my pasty legs. So do not wear sandals downtown, cause that's gross. But yeah, headed downtown. There we go, downtown. <laughs> we're finally here, five hours later. Um, so, we're parking right now. This person does not understand the concept of one way, but. Uh, so, we're parking. Um, I tell you guys just to like come bring cash for parking, and it's anywhere between five to seven dollars. We're parking a little closer, so it's seven dollars. It says three dollars, but they really only mean for the first 15 minutes. So it's a lie. It's really gonna be seven. I would say bring 10 bucks cash for parking just, just to be, to be safe. safe. You'll be able to find it during the week for 10 bucks. So here we are. This is Santee Alley and we're just walking towards like all of the little shops. I think we're going the right way. I feel like I remember this McDonald's. I haven't been here in a year, a few years. Like I've driven by it. All right, so I don't know if you guys can see, but there's the little famous Santee Alley that we're gonna walk down right over there. So it's off of Olympic and Santee, and then it's over there on the left, so you guys can see it if you're coming to visit. So here we are. It's just like literally all the way down this alley is full of stuff. And then Honey wants you to see this shirt. Pass me outside. How about, How about that? It? Um, I think there's something severely wrong with our society making that girl famous. But whatever. Okay. Look at these. I don't know how much these are. I actually like them. Please don't make fun of the shoes I like. They have a clear heel. Yeah. Wearing like shoes, walking down the shore, diving head first down to the ocean floor. Your dark brown eyes reflect fireflies, living bright nights, getting me high on life. Um, I found a dress for the Ariana Grande concert on Friday and I also found another dress, another dress that actually looked a lot like Maj, yeah. but not as expensive as Maj. And then um, I found uh, a corset belt which is like super trendy right now. Oof. A little lunch break with some street dogs, bacon wrapped, hot dogs, deliciousness. This is Hubs' favorite and I came and I got a soda. It's getting kind of hot and got really crowded, but I got some really good finds. I'll definitely show you guys what I got at the end um, when I get home. I got enough for a haul. 
You're gonna, you're gonna get a haul after this. No, I think they like to see things like within because I'll do like a shopping montage. Okay. So, we had to drop stuff off in the car because Hubs' arms were getting tired. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah. We were going to, um, I wanted to make a body chain because they were selling them for like $15 out here. I'm sorry, I'm not paying $15 for a body chain I'm gonna wear once. So, I'm gonna go to the fabric area and get some chain or jewelry district. Not jewelry district, I don't know what it's called. It's like the crafty area. And just buy some chain and make it myself because I already have all the tools. By the way, this is where we're parked. We're off of Santee and 9th and they're really nice and it's super safe and they're watching your car. Okay, it's a really quick walk. It's a really quick walk. It's probably the closest lot that's safe for um you have three people watching the car. yeah you have three people watching the cars and the guy's like really nice so he's cool and they kind of remember what car you're driving which is nice too oh and this is where i bought all the fabric for my chair and stuff or kind of area oh now i kind of want to like put fur on everything because <laughs> i was like oh this is so nice i just got home um i'm like a sweaty mess but i thought i would show you guys what i got today downtown a little damage i wouldn't say not bad, not bad at all. So I got a bunch of shoes. Sorry if you guys can hear the air conditioning, it's just so hot I had to turn it on. I got a bunch of bracelets that I wanted to stack on my wrist for Coachella and I just think it's so like boho and cute and all of these were 99 cents each. So I bought eight of them and they're 99 cents each. So I spent eight bucks on eight different bracelets and they had so many to pick from. So I bought this one, which was one of my favorites. And these, I love these because they're like kind of sparkly. And then these are really cool. These are leather and they're adjustable. So I got a black one and a brown one. And then this one I thought was really pretty for a pop of color. This is teal and silver. And then this one is like a clear with a little bit of pink. And then another little teal one with some red beads and silver. And then this one which I thought was really cute in black. So I got those for Coachella. These shoes from one of the vendor stores. This is like a total dupe of the Prada ones I always see at the Prada store, but they're really cute and I like them, but I didn't want to like spend the Prada price on them, but definitely like cute just to shoot photos in and kind of walk around in. They're pretty comfortable. So these were 30 bucks. Um, like 28 or something so about 30 bucks after tax so I really like them I think they're really cute and they make my legs look a little longer and definitely more of a fun trendy color that I typically wouldn't spend uh, Prada prices on so I bought a bunch of shoes from Lola's Shootique and they have a online store as well so you can go to their website and pick up anything that you like I personally rather uh, try these on because sometimes even though they're like designer dupes they look not that good like they look cheap but then some you get score like you can totally score like these are really cute there are these little booties and it's fabric so it's stretchy and they're super comfortable i bought them to go with the dress i got for the ariana grande concert on friday and it has a stacked heel so they're a little more comfortable um i don't care if i ruin them so it's just like something I would definitely like recommend getting for concerts or festivals or something where you just don't want to wear like your really expensive shoes to or nice shoes to, but these are still comfortable because they're, it's not going to chafe any part of my foot because it's so like stretchy. And then of course the stacked heel makes it a little bit easier to walk in. My next shoe purchases from Lola's Shootique. These are really cute. I bought these for Coachella because they're like sandals and kind of deserty vibes. Um, gives me a little length because I'm going to be wearing a lot of shorts um, and I like to elongate my legs. But they are stacked heels again and then again I don't care if they get messed up because they were super cheap. These were I think again under 30 bucks. And then these I thought were really fun not just for Coachella but just for like spring and summer and they were quite comfortable because again stacked heel um, because it's not like a super hard like fake leather or anything like that. So I thought these were good finds for under 30 bucks each. 
I found myself a choker. This was really cute. This was two dollars. It was dollar ninety nine, and I thought it just it was very lightweight and it didn't itch me. A lot of chokers like I feel claustrophobic, and this did not make me feel that way. Here, what did I get? Oh, I got a cover up. So I saw this on a mannequin, and I thought this was super cute. It's just like a little. Um, cover-up vest which will look really good because I have some body suits and some cut-off shorts I'll be wearing but you know I like to feel a little bit more modest because body suits are like super hugging so this will just like drape over and I can match it with some of these shoes so I think this will be good for Coachella next up super Coachella this is like a crochet bikini top with fringe so I will definitely wear this with cut-off shorts and I just thought it was very, very Coachella-esque and super cheap once again, so I got that. And then I've been seeing this all over Instagram, so I was really excited to find this. It's a corset belt, and it actually cinches my waist really nicely, and I think it's really cute. So it just buttons up in the back, and then of course you can lace it here. Um, I got this for, I think she sold it to me for about $15, so not bad. It's not real leather, obviously, but it's pretty decent, and I think it'll look really cute. Probably one of my favorite finds today was this store called Obsessions and they had a lot of cute clubbing dresses and things like that so this is a dress I bought for the Ariana Grande concert it's lined but I'm probably gonna still wear like some padding because it makes my boobs a little bit more lifted and then it hugs like tight and then there's a slight little slit on the back but it's super cute and then on the back it's like opened but yeah so I'm getting dog hair all over this and then this was the dress that looked like Maj. It's a turtleneck dress and it has these buttons which I actually have a Maj cape that costs like $400 um, and that was on sale. So this is a turtleneck dress, kind of the same fabric, kind of the same design, but um, so it has the buttons that go all the way down but this was like way cheaper it was like $38 and it fit me really really well so I really like this and I always need a good dress for work meetings um, and events so I got that one too so that's all the clothes stuff I bought and then I really wanted a body chain but I did not want to pay the price for it so I got I went to the bead store First of all, I got two pillows. So these are $4 each because I am going to make matching pillows to go with this rug down here that I got for the podcast studio. Um, I have some extra fabric for that. So I got two of these pillows to make, to go on the chairs for the podcast studio and they're $4 a piece. And then I also got for the pillows Velcro so I can take it off and um, wash it. And then this is the measuring tape because I just can't find mine, so I bought one. And I got another fluffy rug situation um, because the bedroom, like we loved how much this looks here that we decided to get one for the bedroom and Hubs liked the black one. So we're gonna get the black one for the bedroom and then I'm going to take the extra fabric from the rug that we cut up and use that to make some pillows. Um, I'm gonna make a body chain because I kept looking at body chains and they're so expensive for what they are. I'm like, I could just make this. So I went to, I believe it's called the Bead Factory and I'll show you my supplies I picked up. Um, and I'll probably do a DIY on how to make a body chain for Coachella. So I bought some of these loops. These were a little more expensive. These were 350, but I will have so many projects out of this. This is the rings. Um, this was a dollar fifty for two, and then I bought these chain. Uh, this chain, I bought five yards in case I needed some extras because Hubs was like they're only a dollar yard. Just get five, so I got five of those. Oh my god! Did she not get my lobster clasps? <gasps> oh, it's in here. I was like, I need those. Okay, so and then I bought some lobster clasps. Again, the, these were $1.50, but I'm gonna get so many more projects out of them. So even all of this is still cheaper than what I could find downtown for a body chain, and I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna make my own, because they're not that hard. And I'll probably make something that I want a little bit more, and I'll actually maybe wear more than just a Coachella. So I'll probably make that pretty soon here on the channel. But yeah, 
that's everything guys I hope you guys enjoyed kind of shopping with me and seeing everything I got if you enjoyed this type of video please let me know in the comment section don't forget to give this video a thumbs up check me out on my socials everything is serene woo and I hope to see you guys back here um, I do lots of DIYs unboxings for my main channel like I get a lot of PR sent to me so I unbox everything here on this channel I also do some cooking some lifestyle obviously some vlogging and a little DIY just started recently so thank you guys so much for watching and I I will see you guys right back here in my next video. Bye! There's a glow.